Hello viewers, welcome to the Friday Friendly Kitchen and now I'm going to show you a quick and easy okra stir fry. I'm using a frozen okra uh, and I'm, if you're using fresh okra, wash the okra, chop them up. Alright, as like how you see here, don't ever add water or wash it after you cut it. it the washing has to be done before you cut it. And also I have mustard seed, one uh, dried chili, optional, if you want you can, if you don't want it's alright. And I have a sprig of fresh curry leaves, uh, some cooking oil, I'll be using approximately about 1 to 2 tablespoons of oil, salt to taste, uh, 1 to 2 teaspoons of uh, black, grounded black peppercorn and half an onion that uh, from a, a large onion that has been chopped. So let it, let's get started with to see how the stir fried okra it is done. Okay viewers, now I'm going to turn on the stove. Always remember medium high for this as well. And I'm going to add the, the oil. I'm having a tablespoon. One, two, a two and a half or three. It's not going to be oily, trust me. And same time, I'm going to add some mustard seed. It's about half a tips, half a teaspoon, and I'm going to let it crackle. Hello viewers, now the I've already heated up the oil and uh, added the mustard seed and now I'm going to add the onions. Where is my stirring sticks? Oh boy, where's my stirring stick? I didn't put away. Oh. Okay. And at the same point, I'm going to add my curry leaves. And I'm adding in the dry chili. Just to speed up the, to soften the onion, I'm going to add some salt. In some of my videos you have seen that I usually add a little bit of water to soften the onion quickly, but not in this.
and now the onions are about half a cook and now at this time I'm going to add the frozen um, the frozen okra I couldn't get any fresh okra, so I, I'm forced to use um, frozen, which is the same, but you don't overcook it. And remember, vegetables are not supposed to be overcooked, it's only like half cooked, as to retain the nutrition. And this is a Chinese style, actually which is used in uh, some Asian countries. And I'm going to close it and let the okra cook for a few minutes. As you can see, the okras are a little cooked. And finally, I'm going to add some black pepper. I'll see if there's any enough salt. I maybe I might just add a little bit. And I'm going to add some black pepper. About one teaspoon. Remember, do not add any pre-grounded uh, black pepper. Try to use the ground the black pepper immediately before you start cooking. And I would strongly not encourage you to buy the grounded black pepper in the store. It is like the potency will be lost. If you grind it on, on the spot, it will be good. If it's a cost, it's good too. And we are almost done here. Hello viewers, and this is my stir-fried okra in my own way that I used to do at home. And so do try the recipe and leave your comments below. And do subscribe to the channel, share with others, and let me know how it turns out. And I will reply your comments as I can see your comments coming in. Thank you and happy trying. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye for now.